Welcome back. I thought today I would trim down some of my basil plants and might as well bring you along and show you how I trim them and also I'm going to propagate some of these. I didn't quite plant enough uh, this year and I have a lot of people asking for basil so I'm going to propagate some of these and show you how easy it is to do it. These videos are brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are aquaponics.ai, growpockets.com, trueaquaponics.com, and glassbottleoutlet.com. Thanks for your support. This plant I actually broke off, so I'm gonna salvage it and make a whole bunch of new plants out of it. Now, most of these, this is the main stem here, you'll see that there's some branches with some new suckers growing off of that. So what I would normally do is take this and cut the center off like that. And then what will happen is that these two stems will actually grow out on their own. And it'll make a, a nice little uh, bush out of this. It keeps the, it a little bit shorter so it won't tip as much and a much uh, fuller bush out of that. So I usually cut off the center sections at least once uh, just to uh, get them to bush out. And I'm going to cut off the rest of these suckers too since the plant's no good anymore. I'm going to use it to uh, propagate. Take some of these other little ones out too. This plant here is a good example of one that I've already pruned. You can see the center of it's already been cut out and it has two nice strong branches coming out of it now. There's also a, a lower branch that's been doing well so we got a, stronger branches. And then here are some new uh, leaves coming out. So what I would do with this is also cut out the, the center of these branches now and then these branches will then send out their own branches. It makes a much nicer uh, tree structure to it to keep it down low. Propagating them is very easy. I just take them Put the stem right into a grow grip so it's hanging down a little bit. I know it's going to get into the water and just stick them back into the raft. I usually like to do this if I know it's going to be overcast or cooler for a few days just so it gives the plant a little bit of time to send out some new roots otherwise they can uh, wilt and die off. Here's a few I did a week or so ago. They look a little bit nutrient deficient just because the roots hadn't started coming in yet. I did lose a couple of them, so it's pretty common to do that. So maybe an 80% success rate by cloning them this way. So it's easy enough just to pull these out and put a new plant in. So if we take a look at the roots coming in here, this is about a week or so of growth. Some are doing a little bit better than others. But for the most part, they're all sending out their roots now. And now that these are established, these plants will start taking off, especially in the nice warm summer. I do have some aphids on my lettuce, so I let some ladybugs go so they wander around on the basil to see what's happening. Usually the aphids don't bother my basil much, they rather go after the lettuce. Take a look under the rafts. There's the root structures for these doing pretty good. So that's really about it. Basil's not too difficult to grow. Just keep it pruned down, keep the plants fairly short. I do grow them in the uh, grow grips in the deep water culture. There hasn't been any issue with that. The one inch ones work really great because the uh, plants have a nice narrow stem and they don't uh, wreck the grow grips at all. So that's uh, that's about it for our basil. Thanks for watching.